What's up, NFL fans? Welcome back to the channel, Revis Talk Sports. I am back again with my weekly NFL predictions video. If you're new to the channel, I provide insight and predictions for every single game, every single week, as well as identifying upsets on a week-to-week -week basis. In this video, I will be giving you my week 11 predictions. So without further ado, let's hop into the Thursday night football, Washington Commanders versus the Philadelphia Eagles. The Commanders lost to the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Eagles defeated the Dallas Cowboys. Between these two teams, they're definitely trying to duke it out to see who will end the season at number one in the NFC East. Give me the Philadelphia Eagles money line over the Washington Commanders. For the Commanders to be the best, they have to beat the best. And until I see this Commanders team led by Jaden Daniels defeat the Philadelphia Eagles, the Philadelphia Eagles, it's their division. I feel like they're just the more talented team right now, and I do expect them to win at Philadelphia over the Commanders. Give me the Philadelphia Eagles money line over the Commanders. Minnesota Vikings versus the Tennessee Titans. The Vikings defeated the Jaguars and the Titans lost to the LA Chargers. I know that Sam Darnold had a bad game. I doubt that happens on a week to week basis. And yes, I understand that the Titans have pretty much a, a solid defense. Give me the Vikings money line. I do not expect the Tennessee Titans to go blow for blow with this Vikings offense. And I do expect the Vikings to beat this team by at least a touchdown or more. Give me the Minnesota Vikings over, over the Tennessee Titans. Do not see an upset here. Green Bay Packers versus the Chicago Bears. The Green Bay Packers are coming off their bye, and the Chicago Bears lost at home against the New England Patriots. The Chicago's Bears season has just hit the lowest of lows. I mean, they've yet to win on the road. They lost on the Hail Mary against the Commanders and lost to one of the worst teams in the NFL at home against the New England Patriots. In the last 25 games, the Green Bay Packers have won 22 of them. At this point, with this head-to-head -head record, the Packers probably don't even view the Chicago Bears as a rivalry team anymore. They probably view the Lions as a rivalry, and I think the rivalry with the Chicago Bears is their fan base and this organization and the coaches do not have faith in this Bears team, nor do I think that the Bears would upset the Green Bay Packers coming off their bye. Give me the Green Bay Packers money line. Do not have faith in the Chicago Bears defense. And besides, Green Bay owes Chicago. Give me, give me the Green Bay Packers money line. Baltimore Ravens versus, versus the Pittsburgh Steelers. The Ravens defeated the Bengals, and the Pittsburgh Steelers defeated the Washington Commanders. This is going to be a nice classic AFC North matchup. Give me the upset at Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh over the Baltimore Ravens. Look. The one suspicion that I have against this Ravens defense is their pass defense. Look, they were shredded by Joe Burrow. They got shredded by Jameis Winston, who threw over 300 yards. The Steelers team is undefeated with Russell Wilson, and he's probably going to throw some moon balls down the field against his Ravens secondary. Do I think that the Steelers offense is as explosive as the Ravens? No, but I do like the Steelers defense. I do like them being at home. Lamar Jackson is 0-2 in the last two games against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Give me the Pittsburgh Steelers with a puncher's chance at home. Upset Steelers money line over the Ravens. Jacksonville Jaguars versus the Detroit Lions. The Jaguars lose to the Minnesota Vikings, and the Detroit Lions had a nice come-from-behind victory over the Houston Texans. Give me the Detroit Lions money line. Do not see a huge upset here with the Jaguars upsetting the Detroit Lions. And even if the Jaguars are up by 10, up by two touchdowns by halftime, the Lions are more than capable to come back and beat this team. So regardless of what happens, the Lions will probably end this game with a W. So give me the Detroit Lions money line over the Jaguars. Indianapolis Colts versus the New York Jets. The Colts lost to the Buffalo Bills and the Jets lose to the Arizona Cardinals. Look, both of these teams have not been at their best this season. I mean, the Colts are on a three-game losing streak, and ever since they benched Anthony Richardson, they've lost two in a row with Joe Flacco starting, who, have, who has thrown four interceptions in the past few games. Meanwhile, the New York Jets, in their last seven games, they've only won one of them. So it's very hard, zero interest in this game, but... Between these two, give me the Jets money line over the Colts. I guess you can say I have a little bit more faith in the Jets to move the ball on this Colts defense than I do with this Colts offense to move the ball on this Jets defense. And I like the home field advantage. Give me the New York Jets money line over the Colts. LA Rams versus the New England Patriots. The Rams are coming off their Monday night football game and the Patriots defeated the Chicago Bears. The Patriots have sneaky upset alert to them. I mean, they defeated the New York Jets. 
They lost by they lost by a field goal to the Tennessee Titans that have a really solid defense and beat the Bears at Soldier Field where they won five or six games in a row and have a very dominant defense. I mean, this Patriots team is very sneaky. They do have the capability to upset the Rams at home. They really do. I'm going to choose the Rams money line because I just feel like I can't see the Patriots beating this Rams team. But I do like the Rams money line. But do not be surprised if there is a sneaky upset in Foxborough with the Patriots defeating the Rams. But give me the Rams money line in this game. Cleveland Browns versus the New Orleans Saints. The Cleveland Browns are coming off their bye. And the Saints finally broke their losing streak by defeating the Atlanta Falcons. Look. I understand that a lot of people are probably going to be on the New Orleans Saints now that they finally broke their losing streak and defeated the Atlanta Falcons. But you have to admit and remember, that's a divisional game. Anything happens in divisional games. I mean, you saw what happens with the Browns defeating the Ravens. And like you look, you saw the Saints defeat the Falcons. Upsets happen in divisional games. Give me the upset, the Browns over the New Orleans Saints. The Saints are bottom five and opposing passing yards allowed. With Jameis, with Jameis Winston at quarterback, I do expect Winston to just throw the ball on this defense. I mean, if the Saints' pass defense is near the same level as the Baltimore Ravens' pass defense, I do expect that Winston will have his moments against this defense. So I do like the upset here in New Orleans. So give me the Cleveland Browns over the Saints. I actually trust Winston to pass on this defense than I do with Derek Carr on this Browns defense. So give me the upset Cleveland Browns over the Saints. Las Vegas Raiders versus the Miami Dolphins. The Raiders are coming off their bye, and the Miami Dolphins are coming off their Monday night game. This game is going to be an easy one. Give me the Miami Dolphins money line. Zero faith in this Raiders team. I feel like this Raiders team has pretty much given up. Yes, I know um, Minshew is at quarterback doing whatever they can, but... Give me the Miami Dolphins. It, it feels like the second place for the for the AFC East is up for grabs. And I think the Dolphins are going to do whatever they can to fight and grind for that second spot in the division. But give me the Miami Dolphins money line over the L Las Vegas Raiders. Seattle Seahawks versus the San Francisco 49ers. The Seahawks are coming off their bye. And the San Francisco 49ers had a nice W over the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Look, I understand the Seahawks are coming off their bye. They're coming into a divisional matchup. Nice and fresh. And like I said, if anything can happen in divisional matchups. Even though the 49ers have the rest disadvantage, going back to 2022, the 49ers are tied in first with the most wins with a rest advantage. And in the last 16 games, divisional wise, the 49ers are 13 and 3. Give me the 49ers in his divisional matchup. I do not have much faith in the Seahawks team, and I think that the 49ers are finally getting clicking and rolling and get ready for the playoffs. But 13-3 and three in the last 16 divisional games, they barely lose in the past few years in their division. Give me the 49ers over the Seattle Seahawks. Atlanta Falcons versus the Denver Broncos. The Atlanta Falcons lost to the New Orleans Saints, and the Denver Broncos lost to the Kansas City Chiefs. I really have a hard feel about this Atlanta Falcons team. I mean, their offense is very explosive against teams named the Carolina Panthers and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, but they slowly grind it out against the New Orleans Saints. And whenever they they go against a pass defense that has somewhat of a pulse and somewhat defense, they either lost, they either lose or win in a close one. The Denver Broncos have a very solid defense. Yes, I understand they got blown out by the Baltimore Ravens and they lost to the Kansas City Chiefs. Those are very tough games. And I, the Broncos defense is pretty much top 10 in every category and they're home. Give me the Denver Broncos money line over the Atlanta Falcons. I feel like this Falcons team may have some trouble against this Denver Broncos defense. And I think Bo, Bo Nix looked pretty well against the Kansas City Chiefs. So give me the Denver Broncos at home money line over the Atlanta Falcons. Kansas City Chiefs versus the Buffalo Bills. The Buffalo Bills defeated the Colts and the Kansas City Chiefs defeated the Denver Broncos. The Chiefs are underdogs in this game. And if you look at Mahomes' winning percentage as favorite and underdogs, they're pretty much similar. Mahomes is pretty much at an 80% winning percentage as a favorite and 78% winning percentage as an underdog. Give me the upset at Buffalo. I do think that the Bills are capable of being the Chiefs and breaking their undefeated, undefeated season record. But whenever you're giving me the Chiefs and an underdog spot and the Patrick and Patrick Mahomes is starting with no injury, give me the Kansas City Chiefs upset at Buffalo. I think they can beat Buffalo at Buffalo. Um, but 
whenever you had the opportunity to have the Chiefs as an underdog, pretty much seven to eight out of 10 times you're going to win that. Give me the Kansas City Chiefs upset over the Buffalo Bills. Cincinnati Bengals versus the LA Chargers. The Bengals lost to the Baltimore Ravens and the Chargers defeated the Tennessee Titans. Believe it or not, the Chargers defense is pretty good this season compared to what was last year. And I understand they're going against the Cincinnati Bengals. The Bengals had a nice start to the Baltimore against the Baltimore Ravens. Yes, they lost in the end, but Joe Burrow and Jamar Chase were putting up video game numbers. Will they do that against the LA Chargers? They don't. They won't because the Chargers defense isn't as bad as the Baltimore Ravens defense. I think this could be a low scoring game, but the Bengals have yet to be a team at 500 and over. And usually when they play against teams at 500 and over, they're giving up nearly 30 points per game. The Chargers are over 500. They're a nice quality football team and pretty much gunning for a playoff spot. Give me the LA Chargers to defeat the Bengals at home. Last but not least, Monday night, the Houston Texans versus the Dallas Cowboys. The Dallas Cowboys lost to the Philadelphia Eagles and the Texans lost from lost to the Detroit Lions from their comeback from behind victory. The Cowboys statistically are one of the worst teams to play at home. Give me the Houston Texans. I have no faith in this Cowboys team, especially with Dak gone for the season. Cowboys have yet to win at home, and they're pretty much losing by almost over 20 to 30 points margin of victory negative at home. Give me the Houston Texans to defeat the Dallas Cowboys. Zero faith in this Cowboys team, nor do I think they could win at home. Give me the Houston Texans money line. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed the content, please give the video a thumbs up and comment below on your Week 11 NFL picks. Thank you so much and catch you guys next week.